Hey everyone, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel and today we're just going to be doing a good old fashioned chit chat get ready with me. I saw this makeup look on Instagram that I want to try and recreate. It was like a really pretty like effortless model beauty. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I just want to talk with you guys because it's been a second and I have some things to talk about. And it's just time to catch up. You know, it's a good catch up moment. So grab your glass of wine, grab a snack, grab coffee if it's you know, too early for wine. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm first going to start with my face. And I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer because I'm trying to finish it up. And I'm seriously... So, so close. So, we are working on that. And let's see, where should we even begin? I don't even know. So, it's Sunday right now. It's super gloomy outside, so hopefully the lighting is okay. And I have been a little quiet. Actually, I've been super quiet on social media lately because it's just been, like, a busy time. Busy, 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 busy. Between work and life and just, you know, everything in between, we just have no time to even take, like, an Instagram picture. So I apologize. But, I mean, that's what happens, you know? Life gets busy. But we are going to be using a new foundation today. This is the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. It's supposed to be full coverage made with silk peptides. And this was sent to me through Octoly. And I don't know why I thought that this was supposed to be more of, like, a natural finish because I'm silk peptide makes me think like natural I don't know um, it's definitely not it is very much matte and it's like an okay foundation I've been using it for the past like week and a half ish on and off I'll wear it to work and stuff and I will say I did get a compliment on my face the first time I wore it from one of my co-workers she said that my face just looked nice and like bright which was kind of funny considering it is a matte foundation and I have dry dry skin but that was really nice but I feel like by the end of the day my face just looks super super dehydrated like it was just getting more and more matte throughout the day but I will say I do really like this foundation on camera I wore it last week for makeup bag Monday or for something and I thought my skin looked really really good so Oh, and another thing is once this dries it dries down a little bit darker I don't know if that's oxidation or if it's just drying down darker so I feel like it's a little hard to pick your color not to mention the color number system is super weird I'm using the shade 2.25 but they sent over four different shades and you would think that like 2.25 would be on the lighter side and then there was like three three and a half and four or something like that but really it was kind of all mix and mash and they don't sell this product in stores anywhere so I feel like finding your perfect shade would be super super confusing you know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of that Maybelline, is it called like the Superstay Foundation that they came out with fairly recently or like redeveloped recently? It kind of reminds me of that. It's a little bit more matte than the um, L'Oreal Infallible, what is it called? I'll put it over here because I can't remember what it's called, but it's a little bit more mattifying than that. I mean, I think it's okay. I think it's good for camera. And I think if you had more oily combo skin, you might like it. But if you have more dry skin, I don't think this one's for you. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to do a little concealer, some flower beauty. So a lot of you guys have been asking and requesting and commenting about me doing a haul or recommendations or some sort of video revolving around the upcoming, actually it's going on right now, it might be almost over, the Sephora sale where they're doing their typical 20% off or 15% off depending on your tier. And honestly, I'm buying nothing and it's not the fact that there's nothing I want because let's be real I can always find something that I want it's because I just don't have the money to be spending on a new eyeshadow palette or a new concealer or you know something I don't need because number one I'm moving soon and by soon I mean in like three weeks so very soon and moving is so expensive like you see some of these people on YouTube that move literally once a year in like LA and I just couldn't imagine first of all I hate moving I hate packing up my stuff and having to do a deep clean of everything and having to like throw stuff away and it's just that's not my idea of fun but just the moving costs are insane especially when you have furniture and stuff it's just it's so expensive so people that move all the time like cheers to you but I can't live that life. No, thank you. So between the move and my car has been giving me some issues lately. 
we just it's not in the budget unfortunately um and it's one of those moments where you need to be like responsible be like hmm, spend you know fifty dollars on a new eyeshadow palette or spend like fifty dollars on food choice should be pretty clear and let me tell you about my car issue so i have a, a bit of an older car she's cute she's a 2007 honda accord i've had her since high school she was my first little car ever i like to call her my white trash mobile because if you ever see me driving down the road, you know it's me because it looks like a white trash mobile. There's like dents on the back and scratches. My interior ceiling is held up with a duct tape and some safety pins, which you can see from like the back window. The tent is like all sorts of messed up. My front bumper is all sorts of messed up. But I mean, she works. She's fine. And really, she's been good since I've gotten her. Like, the only thing I've had to replace is I had to replace the brakes or like the brake pads or whatever, which was a couple of years ago. And, and I had to get a new starter, um, which was also like a year ago. So the car went like 10 years without needing any major repairs, which I consider is pretty good. Um, but then like it all went downhill. And you know how people say things happen in threes? This is one of those situations where things happen to threes. Pause on my car story. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in the shade Double Life, which is a bronzy brown. And what they did in the Marc Jacobs video is they did a little cat eye and then blended it out and made it super smudgy. So the darkest color is on their lash line. And then they put a sparkly color on top. So I'm going to try and do that. We'll see if it works. It probably won't, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyways... The first thing that happened was my starter failed on me, which of course it failed literally a year and three weeks after the warranty. So it's truly amazing how stuff like that happens. So we had to get that fixed. Well, technically the part was still under warranty because that was two years, but the labor is only one year. Of course, the labor is like the most expensive part. And after going back and forth with them because I wasn't about to spend way too much money to get this fixed again because they were the one who put in a faulty part and I was able to convince them to only make me pay 50%. So, I mean, overall it could have been worse. But of course, if this would have happened three weeks earlier, it would have been free. So, great. Um, so we got that fixed. We thought all things were good and it was okay for probably two weeks maybe. And then my car on my way to work decided it wanted to become a duck trap and it literally just like stopped working. When I was on the road, I was on a highway. Luckily it wasn't like the big highway, but it was, I mean, it was the highway 41 over here. And luckily it happened in this perfect spot where there's never a lot of traffic. So I was able to get over and get off. And I mean, my car wouldn't even stop. Like everything was just off. So we were able to get it off and I forced it into whatever. I probably did more damage than I should have. And what was it that was wrong with that one? The throttle body failed. I think it was that. And it was funny because I called AAA to come, you know, tow my car. And the guy was like, oh yeah, I think it's this. He kind of mumbled, so I didn't really know what he said. I was like, uh, that sounds expensive. And he's like, mm-hmm, great. So got that fixed. Life is good. And then about five minutes after I got my car, the check engine light came back on. And we took her back in, and what was the issue that time? Um, I don't even remember. Something. Oh, my knock sensor. That's what it was. The knock sensor failed. Again, whatever that means. And luckily that one wasn't nearly as expensive, but it was still, like, an inconvenience because I had to, you know, take my car in, blah, blah, find it right here, there, and yonder. I mean, seriously, the idea of just having, like, a little bicycle was more and more appealing as the days went on because... It was getting ridiculous. I was seriously always up at the car dealership. Ooh, I will say though, we did get lucky because after my throttle body failed, which was like the major expense, literally that same day after I took it in, I got a coupon from where I take my car. And the coupon was for 25% off your full service of $750 or more, which this was way more than that. So I was like, yes. So at least I was able to save a couple hundred dollars that way. But I mean, it was still kind of expensive. And I'm pretty sure I need new tires like yesterday. So we will cross that bridge later. I'm such a good car owner. 
I think that's okay. We'll work with it. And then what they did next was did a little like sparkly top coat, if you will. And they used some sort of potted eyeshadow that they have from the Marc Jacobs collection, which I don't own. But I feel like they're similar to my chrome paints from Tarte. So I'm going to be using this one in the shade Sun Drenched. And what they did was they just kind of placed it on super messy. And then took a brush and just like blended it up. Okay, I feel like this isn't working. I feel like that just covered up the liner. Oh well, you know, we're just going to roll with it and just blend it out. And I mean, they brought this, oh, I was gonna say they brought the shade up really, really high, but that's literally to my brow bone, okay. Good job, Bailey. And what they did after that was they took a highlighter, but I'm first just going to take a creamy, like, I don't know, beige shade and try and, like, erase a little bit of this because I feel like it's kind of a lot. So I don't know if that did anything, but we're going to hope it did. And I'm going to go back in with this eyeliner and try and add it back in because it's seriously, it's gone. We're just going to make it super smudgy, right? Super smudgy. So anyways, that's been the saga of my car and hopefully nothing else happens because, you know, bad things happen in threes. One, two, three, we're done, right? Right. Or at least for a little bit, man, because my heart can't take anymore. So that's scary stuff when your car doesn't work. And I just hate going to the car repair place in general because, like, I don't know anything about my car. Like, I can tell you right now, I know literally zippity doo dah about a car. So, I just feel very, like, intimidated. <sighs> With that said, I think that's, um, that's it for the eyeshadow portion of this. What a fail. Okay, let's just do a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. And I layered it with a little bit of the Super Fan Mascara from Smashbox because I feel like we needed more. This is definitely one of those looks where, you know what people do when they don't like how their eyeshadow, or at least like people on YouTube, is when the eyeshadow looks are looking a little like teetering good versus bad. Throw on a big pair of lashes and everything looks good. Well, I don't feel like putting on lashes today because I'm literally not doing anything today. So we're just going to load up the mascara and see if that helps. I'm also going to go in with my Thrive Eye Brightener because I feel like it needs a little, little brightness. A little help, if you will. Okay, I don't know if that helped any, but we're going to roll with it. Um, and what else was I going to say? Oh, the, where this whole story began. The Sephora sale. So let me know if you are planning on shopping the Sephora sale or if you already did shop. What did you pick up? Let me live vicariously through you because, I mean, I can't even look at, like, trend mood or anything because then I'm like, oh, I really, really want that. So if I just ignore it, then the need isn't quite there, which I think is so funny. I mean, I haven't even honestly been watching a ton of makeup videos lately just because I know that if I do, the need to buy is like so strong. So I just try and avoid it. And instead I've been watching just like my normal TV. Like I'll watch uh, Bachelor in Paradise and Big Brother, which my God, what do we think of what's going on in Big Brother? I cannot believe, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched, you know, this week's episode or last week's episode, Christy is still here, which I will give her. She is playing like real, real hard. So, I mean, good for her. That's what you need to do if you really want to win and get people to vote for you. But she's, like, kind of annoying, so. And then on Bachelor in Paradise, we have Demi and her girlfriends officially on, which I love that they're being super inclusive and that they're showing a, you know, same-sex relationship on TV and kind of forcing people to experience that. But I don't get why they are staying in paradise. Am I the only one that feels like that? Like, I feel so bad for Derek because he has to sit there and watch them date. And they've already kind of spoiled it that they're going to, you know, most likely get engaged at the end of this. And it's just kind of like, I see what the producers are doing because it's good TV. But I just don't think it's kind of fair. Is that just me? Is that just me? No? Yes, maybe? Like, I think it would just make more sense if they didn't stay in paradise because, I mean, they were already in a relationship before. Why are they getting a free vacation? I don't know. But, you know, what do I know? 
nothing so what else has been going on besides the move which we've already discussed I hate moving with a burning passion but I'm still very excited because we're moving from my crappy one bed one bath that's literally like 730 square feet for two people at two pets to a two bed two bath and oh my god there's this vanity <sighs> cannot wait to have my own sink my own shower it's gonna be so nice you have no idea and um and kind of the layout of the place is it's a two-story townhome and the second story is just loft style so I think that's going to be my new kind of filming area so I'll be able to keep everything out of the bedroom because I have all my lights and stuff in here and it's just a little overwhelming and I'm sure it drives Tyler crazy so it'll be nice to be able to have my own space to do my own activities slash up my own giant vanity have I told you guys about the vanity oh my gosh it's like one of those just there's so much counter space versus the bathroom I have now where there's like this much counter space and I have like this many products so I'm just very excited about that in case you didn't figure it out and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the new filming space because I mean I don't want to spend a ton of money but I want to kind of make it a little bit different and I have an idea for what I want to do with my makeup collection because I really do want to get rid of the Ikea um what is this the Alex Stein drawer is that still what it's called I've had this since my second year of college when I first moved into an apartment so that would have been 2012 and yeah, that's a long time to have something, especially Ikea furniture. It is really starting to show its age. So I think, I think it might be time to get something a little bit different. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Because let's be real, I'm not the best at interior design. As you can probably tell. I mean, this is like... Mm. Does anybody else do that? Where they look at a compact thinking that there's a mirror and there's clearly, clearly not... I do that seriously all the time. Oh, and the highlight I'm using is Wet n Wild's Blossom Glow. Super pretty. As you can tell, it's like five bucks. So good. I feel like there's, oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So it's officially college football time. And I watched the, I'm looking for the lip liner I wanted to use. Who watched the Miami, Florida game last night? Hold on. We'll talk about it. Let me do lip liner and we can talk about it. So in case you don't know, I'm a Georgia fan. I went to the University of Georgia, graduated in 2015, and UGA's biggest rival is Florida. So we always want Florida to lose or at least like look real bad. And they look real bad. Oh my, first of all, Miami looked bad too, but Miami is like a super young team. They have a freshman quarterback. Their whole like O-line is super fresh. So they have a little bit of a pass and all things considered, they played fairly well. They you know, they ended pretty strong beside, well, besides the very last moment, but they got super lucky too. Anyways, the Florida man. Ugh. Now, if any of y'all are Florida fans, I apologize, but it's just some good fun. Um, but like y'all's quarterback sucks. Not good. Not good. He kind of reminds me of a not as good Baker Mayfield, where he kind of has that arrogance thing going on, but he messes up way more. So I feel like he hasn't earned that yet, but we'll see we'll see I just thought it was a fun game I stayed up and I watched it and I mean it was a good college football and that's probably why I like college football way more than NFL football I just can never get into NFL because like they actually know what they're doing you never know what's going to happen in a college football game and who's going to make like stupid mistakes and I feel like that's the fun part oh and in case you're wondering what I used on my lips I'm sorry I wasn't very good at talking about the products I was using today but I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pelo Talk lip liner and lipstick and then some of the Glossier lip gloss um and that my friends is the makeup look let's just do a quick hair brushy because my hair is actually a tangled mess I really need to get my hair done but like we're trying to save money remember so we're just gonna leave it as is and that is the completed look honestly not the best I'm not gonna lie I feel like my face looks good I feel like complexion wise we look good but like eyes I wouldn't want to wear this out in public so I'm not going to um but it's yeah but you know that's the beauty of makeup you can try something if you don't like it you just wash it right off and pretend like it never happened I guess with that said that is everything Okay, time out. I, <laughs> I was trying to do like a thumbnail shot and I realized like my eyebrows look a little... Oh, I didn't even do my eyebrows. So, 
you know, we're just gonna do some brow. No, no, we're not even gonna do anything because I'm just gonna wash my face. Why waste brow gel? We're just gonna leave it. So, carry on with the video. For this little chit chat, get ready with me. Sorry if it wasn't super interesting. I feel like my chit chat, get ready with me's are never super interesting because, like, I'm not super interesting, but so you guys seem to like them. So, that is awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face because this and maybe take a nap because it's about to storm and that sounds really ideal but that's everything for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you want to watch more get ready with me's i will put a link right up here to the playlist and if you'd rather watch another video i'll put my most recent upload right here and if you haven't already please subscribe i'll put the link right here so you can just click it it takes two seconds it's free and it makes my day so that is everything for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i hope you have an amazing week and i'll see you guys next time bye